And it was all started in an estate sale when this young lady, um, she was in a pile with other photographs on this table. And I just, I was very moved and touched by her. It looked like, uh, with these watermarks, it looked like she was crying, and it looked like the whole piece was weeping. And it just led me to think that I, I wanted to tell her story. I didn't want her to be languishing in oblivion, you know, end up in the trash somewhere. Or, so I wanted to be able to, to let her beautiful face be seen and to tell a story, and a story that I created. So I researched and uh, found out that in, the, in order to make the story accurate, what would she be crying about? Well, in the early 20th and late 19th century, uh, infant mortality was a lot higher than it is now. And it's, and it's very uh, uh, probable that, you know, sure, plausible, I should say, that she could have lost a young child. So I went about creating that life then, and uh, I created Carly. And Carly, I only had like a dozen of these blocks, and I had to come up with a name that I researched. It was the early 20th century, and I come up with Carly. Um, one of the challenges in this show that I gave to each of us artists was use materials that we've never used, and in themes or subject matter that I've never used. So a uh, more dark, uh, very sensitive, touching, really sad story, uh, along with uh, textiles that I had starched and never you know, worked with that material and that kind of thing. I also did a lot about research, so I researched and found in the, the early 20th and late 19th century that tombstones for young children and babies had lambs on them. So I did some more research and looked around a lot of graveyards to take an image and found a great image on a graveyard that's seen better days is on Main Street. And I found this image and manipulated it on the use of a photocopy machine. The same went to, uh, with this cherub, and I sort of created a, a ghostly image uh, with the, these are vintage uh, shoes. And then uh, the last piece of the thing was, was actually a picture of Carly herself, though if you look at it, it looks identical to the cherub. And again, this was just a languishing uh, 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 stagecoach antiques. And, She's such a wonderful, happy-looking child, and her hands are moving like she's fidgeting, and, and uh, I thought it would just you know, tie everything together. So, um, and a friend of mine I had suggested uh, a, a title, and uh, I wanted to change it, but then in honor him, it was Brett, Brett Hines, the artist in the show, and, and uh, I was going to call it Mother Sorrow, but, uh, Sorrowful Mother Stone.